Now today we will be looking at one of the most important topics for your NSO which is magnetism. Now magnetism practice lot of questions head over to doorsteptutor.com and where we have put up lot of questions and practice specifically the magnetism question there because students typically find them uh, are problematic and they got get these questions wrong. So here is the first problem. Here we have been told that there are two metal bars. These are the two metal bars and they have been placed on other two bars. We have been told that the attraction in this case is actually strong and the attraction in this case is actually weak. Now the trick here is to, to realize that even for weak attraction we need at least one magnet. Okay? So even in this case we can say that let's say that this is a magnet then this can be a metal, simple metal. Now in the case of a strong attraction we definitely need a, a magnet here and then even this has to be magnet because note that the attraction is strong here and the, the way we can produce this strong attraction is if we put the north and south poles close together okay notice how the magnetization of the uh, y has been done so in the first case the p has to be a magnet and even the y has to be magnet for there to be a att strong attraction north and south poles uh, facing each other and in the second case uh, one of them the x is a magnet and the q is a metal and only in that case we can get one v and the other is strong this is the second problem the second problem we have been asked to find out what observation would cause you to conclude that object is a magnet now here this is our object and this is our magnet one of the things here the choice c look at the choice c now as i bring this object this is our bar magnet for sure right the white one is a bar magnet we know that this is definitely a magnet so this particular uh, white piece the white remote is definitely a magnet we know that now as I bring this other uh, piece along I am not sure whether this is magnet or not as I bring it along bring it along bring it along bring it along it comes and then it rotates and then gets attracted okay see, see it, it rotates and then gets attached to this uh, other piece now that is a hundred percent signal that even this is a magnet and what I am doing is that North Pole and North Pole I am trying to bring them together and because the North Pole and North Pole they repel this actually the small piece rotates and it makes sure that its South Pole is facing the North Pole and this particular uh, is the observation uh, that would guarantee uh, the C is the observation that would guarantee okay so that that observation is actually a uh, given in c okay so i'll just make myself a small so that observation the object rotates before being attracted to bar magnet that guarantees uh, that the object is actually a magnet if it was a simple uh, nail uh, iron object then it would not rotate it would simply get attracted okay if, if this uh, this remote was was a nail then it would simply get attracted it would not rotate the rotation actually is telling us that the 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 object this this particular uh, object is not a nail but a magnet and it has it likes a particular orientation okay and, and that orientation tells us that it is actually a a, a magnet uh, that that favoring of the orientation so and all the other choices a a this uh, a b and c cannot uh, would also hold uh, true if the object was was an iron nail let's say okay uh, would also hold uh, true in that case uh, now this is the third and the final question here we know that if i rub a magnet now i am interchanging now this is a magnet and this is my iron iron bar the white uh, colored remote is the iron bar and this black is the magnet as i rub the magnet along the iron piece i know that the iron piece would slowly and gradually become magnetized now that is a given the question is asking us what direction would this magnetization actually happen right so this is x and this is y it is asking us where would the north pole be okay and the, and the reason uh, is basically uh, it the north pole is always in the region where i start the rubbing process and the south pole would be in region where i end the rubbing process 
if i am rubbing with the north pole of the magnet if i am rubbing with the south pole the directions would actually be reversed okay so that is something that you need to remember and the explanation for this we have given on door step tutorial so definitely look at the explanation there okay thank you